You could call them mad scientists because that's what they are. What will we do? When will we do it? Part of a large protest at UC San Diego to stand up for science in the wake of federal funding cuts by the Trump administration. We heard from a science historian. My community of historians of science is freaking out right now as we look at the ominous resemblances between this time and science under dictatorships of the past. And a graduate student with the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. When funding is cut, it doesn't just impact researchers, it threatens the entire infrastructure that supports ocean science and resource management. And the UC San Diego neuroscientist with a PhD from Harvard. Already on this campus and throughout the country, there is a freeze on hiring new faculty. This we must stand up for science or we stand to lose a generation of scientists and all of the discoveries that they would make. Friday's large gathering took place at the same location where violence broke out last year when police moved in to clear out a tent encampment set up by students protesting the war in Gaza. On that same spot, the university has now installed hammocks supported by metal poles, which seemed more welcoming to the scientists in attendance and their families. We need to keep track of the attacks on our research, share what we are doing to resist, unite as a community, and stand up for science! Once again, this was a very large gathering, probably more than a thousand people, and some good news to report, the protest was entirely peaceful. At UCSD, David Gottfordson, CBS 8.